<clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Coach Eric, and I've got my good friend with me, Janet Wilson. Oops, I need to move. Before we get started, make sure you hit the, um, the mute button. It's all good. Go. We're all family. There we go. Don't worry. You're being recorded. Everybody knows you didn't hit the, the mute button, but it's okay because we're family and we're like that, right? <laughs> Well, anyway, hey, I've, I've got my good friend Janet. Uh, Janet and I met, what was that, at Leadership in California on an elevator. We were like, hey, what's going on? And we, you know, we just hit it off just like that. You know, because we were forming each other and we didn't even know it, right? Where are you from? No, where are you from? No, tell me about you. No, me. Anyway, we're really good friends. Um, she is, as you, as you can tell by her pimping jacket on, she is an elite coach, three-star diamond. She's all that in a bag of healthy chips. Not just potato chips, but like healthy, like dry fruit chips. But seriously, she's, um, she's a leader and she's a go-getter. And she's one of those people that just remains dedicated and remains hungry for success. One of the things that she does very well <clears throat> is that she has a knack for assessing people's personalities and understanding how to best um, leverage and utilize her understanding of personalities using the gem system to help motivate and um, inspire them to reach their goals. And she's wants, she wants to share that with us today. So I thought it would be very beneficial for you guys that are new coaches and even some of the more advanced coaches. When you're talking with challengers, you're talking with new, you know, um, new coaches, it's a very good tool to use. So with Further, without any further ado, that's what I want to say. My friend, <laughs> and I'm going to mute myself. Thank you, Eric. Well, when we talk about gems, um, you know, when you first dig up a gem, it's not real pretty. It's got stuff dust, you know, it's got it's shaped funny. I mean, a diamond is not pretty when you first find it, for example. It's got to be polished, and it's got to be formed. So I want you to kind of think about that while we're talking about gems to, tonight. Um, I got the, one of the trainings that I've gotten from Danny Johnson. You might have heard of her. And our team actually uses the gem. It's called the gem questionnaire or it's a test. And we have all our new coaches, part of our onboard coaching system that we've started um, that goes with our first or second email that goes out to our, our new coaches because as a team we need to know how to communicate with each other and speak the right language to motivate that person because we're all the funny thing is I keep attracting people that are like the total opposite of my gym and you'll learn more about what I'm talking about. And I find this humorous, and I don't know if this is just God playing a joke on me or what, but it's, it's what's happening. Um, the gems I'm gonna talk about tonight are, um, they're called rubies, emeralds, pearls, and sapphires. And I wanna give you a quick overview of what each one is, kinda like their characteristic. And then I'm gonna kinda go a little bit deeper into why why this is important, why do you need this for your team, but also to use this with family um, and how to motivate them to do something they, you want them to do. Like if you want your kids to uh, clean their room and you're having trouble with that, learn their language, you got them. Um, so first of all, I wanted to go over what the ruby is, okay? The ruby is, they're like, they want to take charge, all right? They're like, they're motivated. I'll first out just tell you what each person is motivated, what each gem is motivated by. The pearl, I'm sorry, the ruby is motivated motivated by a challenge or a goal. Um, always has to be first. Okay, these guys are like, I'm at the, you know, look at me, watch me, I'm number one. Okay, they like to have the best of everything, like the best clothing. You know, if you see someone, we're going to talk more about this, but just by looking at someone, you can sometimes tell that they are ruby just by what they're wearing. Um, they love to lead. It's just a natural born thing that's inside them. Um, 
they make quick decisions, they're born with an overdose of confidence, okay? They're like, I'm all that, okay? They're, that's just the way they are. Um, they're not good at delegating tasks. They, they take too much on. I have a coach like that right now who's, she, that, that's her secondary. We have a primary and a secondary uh, personality. And I swear, she, she's got her, her foot in everything. And, but she's like awesome in all of them. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, let's see, what else do they do? They, they, they can work themselves to exhaustion. Uh, this actually, I hate to say this, but um, rubies are the first to have heart attacks if they're not careful because they overwork themselves. They don't know how to take a break. Their spiritual gift is leadership, and I'm gonna be giving each one a spiritual gift. So the spiritual gift of a ruby is leadership. So that's the ruby. Something that's just start, I, want, I just want things to start stirring in your heads, like, hmm, I want you to start thinking about your coaches right now on your team. You know, who, who is that on your team that has, you know, has these characteristics? Um, the next one is the emerald. Uh, they're motivated by facts and figures. They are timely and they, you know, and love to document and organize. They love that. So not me. <laughs> um, they believe uh, there is, I should be having my glasses on so I can see what I'm reading. I look more intelligent with my glasses on anyways. There we go. Um, they believe there is a time limit and a place for everything, okay? They love discounts. They read and follow instructions and are diligent with their money. They're great students, but can have difficulty with um, in-person communications, like one-on-one -on -one conversations. They're mm, not so great. Um, they write long, let me tell you, let me know if you have, you know, raise your hand if you have a coach like this. They write really long, detailed emails. Who has a coach like that on their team? Oh. <laughs> it's like, it takes me forever to read that. Um, so they like long emails and messages. Often why people, they, they why people to death. You might get customers like this, you guys. Do you have like customers who just have to know all the facts about a program? It's like, well, what does it do? What, you know, tell me more about the challenge. They want more, they want all the details, okay? They want all the facts. These are the people that, you know, give me the facts, I want them. Um, and they can come across as a little judgmental. Their spiritual gift is order. So that's the emerald. So we have the ruby and the emerald. Our, our next gem is the pearl. And a lot of people, I just want to tell you guys, a lot of people look at the pearl um, as like a negative, like a, a bad gem. I want you to guys know there's no such thing as a bad gem. We need them all. Uh, and this one is really important with Beachbody because it's all about helping people. And that's what they're motivated by. They're motivated by helping people. Um, they don't like pressure. They like to have a cause in their work. Um, they are a, a safe place for people. Like it's someone that they, they feel that, you know, a pearl is someone that you can come to and talk to and know that you're not gonna be judged. Um, they are like, they love, they're the first to volunteer. Oh, do it. Okay, they love to volunteer. Um, they can be judgmental of others because they feel they are selfish when they really um, when they really help people because it makes them feel good. That didn't make sense. When they really help people, um, yes, when they help people, that makes them feel good. And it almost comes off as a selfish, a selfish uh, thing is what I'm trying to say. Um, they enjoy small gatherings. So, you know, they're not someone that's going to be into a fit club. They're not going to, they're going to feel uncomfortable at the summit. Um, without these, these huge crowds, they just they're not into that, um, and they you know and don't like big parties. Their spiritual gift is service. So we've got the ruby whose gift is leadership. We have the emerald whose gift is order, and we have the pearl whose gift is service. 
The last and definitely not the least is the sapphire. I say with a smile because that's mine. <laughs> that's my primary. But the, they're motivated by F-U-N. They are motivated by fun. They think with their mouth. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not talking about anybody in this group right now, am I? Okay, um, they love to talk. They love to talk out their pro love being around people. They were wired for entertaining others. Uh, they're creative and spontaneous. They're like, let's go, let's do it now. They're like, they don't have to think about it. Um, often unorganized. And I should mention that about the pearl as well. They're not exactly real organized either. So if you're a sapphire pearl, good God, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so they're motivated, they're creative and spontaneous. They're often unorganized and they're often late. Unless it's for a social event. God, you gotta be on time for the social event. Uh, they love receiving recognition. Look at me, look what I did. They love getting on stage. Oh man, Summit, getting on stage. That is the Sapphire's bomb. Okay, they love that. Spiritual gift is motivation. So we've got a leader. We've got someone who likes to keep order. We have someone that's gonna has the gift of service, and we have motivation. What I'm gonna have Eric do when you guys sometime during you know this week I'm gonna be he has the download for the test. You all are gonna take the, the test. And you're going to see what gem you are. And you're going to have a primary and you're going to have a secondary. Our goal is in all of this is not say, oh, well, this is what I am and nothing's going to change. And oh, well, you know, I'm never going to like, you know, serve people very well in my orders. I can't, I can't organize. I'm a, don't use it as an excuse. I don't want you to say, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a pearl or a sapphire, so I'll never get organized. Heck no. We can't have that, we can't have that attitude. We have to say, okay, we gotta bring that out of ourselves and say, okay, um, what do I need to do to be more of this particular personality? Because we, we wanna have a, a nice balance, but you're always gonna have your primary. You're always gonna be that one thing, and that's okay. That's a good thing. Um, what um when it comes to the thing that I wanted to definitely talk about, I don't really want to read notes, so I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to go read probably what I know. Um, when it comes to like uh, your coaches on your team, the reason why you want to have this test taken and the reason why you want to have, you know, find out what they are is you've got to figure out how to speak their language and, and figure out the words that's going to, you know, trigger um, their motivation. And it's going to trigger their activity. Okay. You've got, if you find out you've got an emerald, someone who's a strong and emerald, oh man, give them some tasks to do. Okay. You know, they love systems. Okay. So give them those tasks, you know, to do. Um, and they'll, I mean, that's the person you want to help um, set stuff up for the team, like, you know, set up the next challenge group or, you know, you know, get the Google Drive, you know, the team Google Drive organized in alphabetical order or whatever, you know, they, that's the person to do it. That's the person to get it done. Um, find out who your leaders are and put them in leadership positions. Give them that challenge. Give them that goal to to be that who they are, let them be that leader who they, they want to be. Um, I do want to mention one thing from my notes here that um, when you're approaching gems, um, and I'm talking like belly to belly, um, when you're meeting either with a coach or you're meeting with a customer, um, you, you need to know and understand some of these things when you're approaching them. Like for a, a sapphire, you want to be, you know, upbeat and friendly. You're, you're going to want to smile a lot because they're going to, they, they expect that. Um, you have to give an energetic uh, handshake. Like here, I'm going to, I told uh, 
Eric, I'd show some of my talent tonight. All right, come here. I need I needed a second person, you know, so you know I wasn't gonna have my kid do this. I'm a <clears throat> I'm a side. I used to do um, professional ventriloquism. All right, this is this is Gregory. <clears throat> How you doing? Yeah. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, so when I'm approaching Gregory, yeah. I'm going to be like saying, you know, if, if I'm going to shake his hand and I know he's a sapphire, I, I can kind of tell just by the way he holds himself. Like he's, he's acting kind of silly, he's dancing, or he's just kind of, or I just know what he is. I know how to approach him. You know, when you take a, a handshake, what are you doing? Just you take a handshake. You're like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, woohoo. How are you? Sapphires will keep shaking their hands until you, you, you pull away. Okay, they just won't let go. Okay, but if this guy is a pearl, yeah, and he's kind of you know quiet, yeah, and you know shy, you know, you might just take you know you can even tell a pearl when they're shaking when you're shaking their hand. Here, gotta get a hand of you here. You know, when you're shaking their hand, they have a real limp handshake. <laughs> you know those people. You know who I'm talking about. And they have that limp handshake, and you're like, and but you just. And sometimes you do like a two-handed one, like a two-handed, you know, when you hold the hand with the other hand, that kind of handshake, they, that's, that, that's how a pearl shakes. If you're, if you're a, a, a ruby, a ruby, then you're gonna, you know, they got that power tie on, they've got, you know, their suit on, they're looking sharp. You look them in the eye, straight, they love eye contact, you look them right in the eye, you grab their hand, give them a nice firm shake, it's like, how you doing? You gotta show power. So this is all has to do with forming and everything else. Can can I go now? Yeah, you can. You. Hey, night night nice seeing you guys. Uh, hi, Eric. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyways, so it's it has to do with body language, what they wear. <laughs> Shut up, man. Body language, what they wear. Um, all these things you gotta you gotta pick up. And I'm also talking, not, again, not just your coaches, but your customers. I had a, a perfect example today. Um, yeah, every Friday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had a perfect uh, example um, okay. you know, in combat. Now, now, you guys got to understand our trainers also have personalities, okay? Um, you can unmute yourself for a second. But I want to ask people, if you know combat, uh, raise your hand if you know combat. Are you familiar? You guys ever done combat? Anybody? Nope. Eric? Okay. There's Dan and Rach. They're the trainers. By what I've said so far, Eric, what do you, what do you think those two are? Dan is, ba Dan is an emerald. Big time. Really? No, sapphire. Sapphire. Excuse me. <laughs> there sapphire. you go. <laughs> sapphire. Yeah, yeah. It's in your face. Yeah. He's he's hyper. Yeah. He talks the whole time, right? So his 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 primary is Sapphire. Right. What do you think Rachel is? What do you think Rachel is? You mean Rachel on the video or Rachel that I met in Vegas? <laughs> it's a different Yeah, really. You know? They're well, different. Well, I, she's definitely not Sapphire. Um she's Sapphire on the video, but I in in person that's kind of hard. Maybe maybe a pearl. I mean, she, mm -hmm. you don't think she's a pearl? Mm -mm. A ruby? They both have ruby. Yeah. Okay. They're both leaders. They both have that strong leadership. Uh, Dan is a sapphire ruby. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, Rachel is an emerald ruby. Really? Yeah. But the thing is, it's like um, Tony Horton, sapphire. Sapphire, sapphire. sapphire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, Tony, shut up. <laughs> Okay, um, so when you, ha when you know these things, you can actually help your customers find a good fit. You know, what's their person that, what, what, who are they going to, you know, connect with? Who are they going to connect with? Um, it's also the type of, of, you know, like TurboFire. It's all about fun! <laughs> yeah, right? So it's, you know, that's geared toward um, definitely Sapphire's. But, you know, that doesn't limit it. I'm just saying that definitely attracts. So when you're forming your customers and you start hearing these words like, um, 
Oh, I had some good words here. Um, where is it? Well, just like words like um, fun, obviously. If the word fun, any, if they're describing it, it's like, you know, what do you like to do for a workout? Oh, I like to, you know, I like dance stuff. I like to have fun. I mean, you just hear that word fun. It's, it should be a light bulb going off. And that's where you're like thinking, hmm, combat, turbo fire, maybe even Brazil butt lift. Um, even, well, even, even P90X, I find P90X fun. And I'm a sapphire. It's fun because Tony's joking and he, they're having, they're having fun in the, on the set, you know, uh, insanity. Oh my God. That's such an Emerald Ruby workout. Oh my God. That's that such an Emerald workout because it's like, get her done and I'm out of there. Okay. Nothing fun about insanity. <laughs> hey, Janet. Yes, I'm sir. Gonna interrupt, but you know, one thing that I thought was kind of interesting is not only do you look at like the, the type of video how that matches with the personality, but maybe right. looking at the, the individuals, like the trainer's personality. Right. You know, like, um, like, yeah, like insanity is like Ruby, but then what, what would you say, Sean T? What, what, what would his personality be? He's, he's a hard one to figure out, mm -hmm. but he's got, Billy, he's got some pearl. Pearl. He's got some pearl. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he just loves, he's, it's all about helping people. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, um, but he's got that warm, fuzzy teddy bear kind of thing going. <laughs> so, but insanity and asylum, he ain't so warm, you know? So, in fact, he's far from it, <laughs> especially in asylum. Oh, my God, he's, like, mean. Um, it's like, who is this guy? Um, when you're working with your emeralds and your, your coach on your team, you got to respect their time, Okay. Oh. Um, you gotta be professional. You gotta, you know, give them firm, quick, you know, we're talking about handshakes. You give them the, you know, give them a firm handshake, but get it out of there. They're not into like the long contact. So if you're a Sapphire, they'll be, you know, in their face and like shaking like crazy. It's like, say, hi, how you doing? Good to see you type of a thing. Um, you gotta, re you gotta respect their personal space. They, they want that personal space. Um, you got to ask more specific questions to get them to talk about themselves. Um, they're not like a chatterbox, like a, like a Sapphire. So if you have a coach on your team, who's, who's not really talking very much, um, you've got to give a more direct approach um, and then validate their answers. Like get your own answers. You got to come, come, come back with a lot of like with, with, with you got to validate your answers with them. Um, they are attracted to people with a system that completes a task. So if you are, are you know, if you've got a team that has a lot of emeralds, you've got to have a great system um, that flows well and works well. Um, that's what I'm working on. Cause I got a ton of emeralds on my team. Um, let's see. Now with a ruby, um, you definitely gotta you gotta compliment them a lot, believe it or not. Um, but also when you're trying to attract a coach, like you want to sign up somebody as a coach and you want a ruby, okay, um, you gotta tell them success stories because they're all about the money. They they're they're thinking about you know how much money can I make? What can I do? Um, to be at the top because I want to be number one. So what can I do to be number one? Uh, don't give them a bunch of facts and figures like you would tell uh, an Emerald uh, prospect. You want to tell them success stories. Who's making the big money? You're going to talk about Lindsay Matway. You're going to talk about Scotty Hobbs. Okay. Those are the people you want to talk to them about. Um, and like I said, don't, don't give them too much detail. You want to get to the point and uh, they're attracted to successful people. And, the, um, and again, if you're talking with someone, sharing with someone, becoming a coach, and you're like live or on a Zoom, even on a Zoom thing, do your best to look into the camera and give them really good eye contact. And don't get in, and don't be doing that. <laughs> so, 
sorry. Um, now, when you're trying to get a, a let's say you're trying to get a uh, pearl to sign up as a coach, um, they're a little bit different. You want to, you know, keep things calm, keep things, you know, you want to share the information. Um, but you, uh, you're going to ask them questions to get them to share a little bit more about them. Um, I already went over the handshake with you. Uh, being a be a really good listener. And sapphires out there, when you have, when you're talking with a pearl, um, okay thing on here. Yeah, there we go. When you're talking to a pearl, um, you've got to be a good listener. Unfortunately, what sapphires do, if you're a sapphire, you're going to interrupt them. You're going to want to interrupt them. You're going to want to talk, do all the talking. Um, but when you're, again, sharing with a prospect who you want to be on your team, you've got to be a good listener, especially if you're a, a sapphire. Um, let's see what else I want to mention about them. Um, you also want to kind of show them that you have a caring or nurturing side of you. That's, that's really important to the pearl. Um, and if, again, if you're on zoom or you're talking one-on-one, -on -one, you want to give them a more of an informal eye contact. Um, and again, they're attracted to people that are giving. So you might want to share a little bit about maybe somebody else on your team who's a pearl and kind of give that example. Um, when you are talking with a, I kind of went over with a sapphire, um, but if you're a ruby and you're talking, a rubies are very in, uh, um, intimidate sapphires, if that makes sense. If you're a primary and you're a ruby, even though I have a ruby in me, like I'm a sapphire ruby, rubies intimidate the crap out of me. I'm like, like you're, you know, I just, I can't explain it, but if that's just how I feel with them. Um, don't come off as arrogant. A sapphire, do not come out, out, come off as arrogant. That's when you don't sh talk about, oh, so-and-so is making this or I'm making, this. you know, don't come off with that with a sapphire. Um, they are attracted to positive people. So you better be an upbeat person when you're talking with a, a person who's a sapphire. And good yet warm eye contact is, is good with a sapphire. So I think I covered everybody on that one. Um, I just want to open the kind of, if you guys have questions about before we're, you know, cause I know you only have about seven minutes left on the call here. Um, you know, go ahead and, you know, open up. And if you guys have any questions of specific gems or how you can use it, go for it. Well, I'll start. I've got a question. Like what questions do you ask someone that you're just meeting uh, to kind of give a, a, I guess, get a good indication as to what gym they are. How do you, how do you determine that? Well, you definitely, you guys know about forming, right? Right. Yeah. I hope you, yeah. So when you're forming them, um, when you, when they just, you know, listening to what, you know, like a, a Sapphire will talk a lot about recreation. They, they'll go on and on with that because it all has to do with fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you're hearing that, that's when you start indicating it's like, hmm. Um, they eat, you know, when you, when you hear about like, well, oh gosh, when I'm, whenever I'm talking to a challenger or, or a coach, customer to coach conversion, you know, the first thing when you're asking them about coaching, it's like, you, you know, you know, why would you want to be a coach? And you hear this, well, I want to help people. That's a, that's an indication that they've got some pearl in them. Um, they say, I want to make money indication that they're going to want to be, they're a Ruby. Um, but it's just basically you, you hear the words and I can like post some, some trigger where, you know, I can send you those, that info, Eric, but there's like a, a list of words, like language words that they all use. Okay. Each, each, uh, um, gem uses. So. Okay. That would, right. be, helpful. That would be very helpful. Anybody else? Any other questions? Christina, do you have any questions? It's fine. It's okay. You can be quiet. Um, the, the other thing I want to mention is I have a, 
I'll, I'll send this to you as well. Is, is there is a what it is? It's for your team. It's for you to give to your team. You know, new co sponsored coaches, and it's just basically it's another way to connect with your team. But it's also telling your team. Um, You want to uh, recognize them for something. Uh, um, this favorites list tells you what they like. So it's just, you know, it just tells, it, it's just like a little, little form to say, you know, to let each coach know what their, you know, each co coach likes, if that makes sense. It's just called okay. the favorites or my favorites. I'll have to show it to you to make more sense. Okay. Christina, did you have a question? No. Um, no, I was just wondering, are you going to post this, um, the different things that you're talking about sending to Eric underneath um, the event for this, or where would we look to find those things? Yeah, I'll put like? it under the events tab. Okay, thanks, Eric. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah? I think so, Janet. This was okay. very, very helpful. It's just, it, it just goes, it goes so, so much deeper. I mean, it, just, it goes, I mean, like I said, with your family. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. how am I going to motivate somebody to do something? How am I going to uh, communicate without people getting defensive? You know, what kind of language do I need to use? And you got to like step back and like, okay, what is this person? What's going to, you know, and what I, and what I'm talking to, like I said, my constant struggle is with emeralds. And I think it's hilarious how many are signing up on my team, mm -hmm. but um, as a Sapphire, I can really turn off, turn an emerald off and it's because i will and um i need to and i always have to i constantly tell myself to sit back listen bite your tongue and and let people just let them talk about themselves um so it's it's just a, it's a great system and i love i love this uh just it's, it's a personality system that i've just just clicks with me better than a lot of the other ones out there. So I hope you guys can get a good use out of it. I think it would be a really good tool to use um, when you first sign up a coach, um, maybe to have mm -hmm. them, that would be like one of the first, you know, types of, uh, of, of uh, I'm trying to say, uh, exercises that they can do. Yeah, we just attach it to a, one of our welcome letters and then on, our, on a document in our, um, team wall will actually uh people will put their score and what what gem they are under there so everybody can see what everybody is right. and it's right. it's kind of cool we will do that i like that all right cool all right well guys thanks so much for joining us janet thank you so much thank you so much for your time okay. i really appreciate that and i will talk to you on the other side god bless all you right, all guys. thank you okay. janet Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being here.